All right, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel. If you're new, please consider subscribing, but you guys know what time it is. We're going to be talking about Bonk itself because what Bonk is doing right now, it is shaking the meme coin market. And I will get a little bit into more detail, of course, as we go further into this update as to what is happening. And of course, the price has done something very, very interesting. And if you want to know what that is, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Looking at the overall markets, guys, especially this Friday, as we closed out Friday, we saw this market absolutely go insane. We saw Bitcoin reaching $67,000 in over a month, um, and you are seeing altcoins across the board reacting in a very positive way to the price of Bitcoin. This move that we have seen Bitcoin went up 5%. If you're looking across the market, everything seems to be up double as to what Bitcoin has gone up. So even though we did see the dominance going up just solely off of the momentum, uh, you know, of Bitcoin, altcoins are feeling the love. You know, Bonk is up 16.8% on the daily time frame, one of the top gainers. And if you're looking at it on the weekly time frame, it's up 37.8%. So, you know, definitely some good gains are being made across the board. Uh, but let's take a closer look and really discuss what we're looking at a Bonk and what is the exciting thing that I'm referring to. So. Looking at the price of Bonk 3143, up 17.1% over the past 24 hours in USD comparative. We're also up 11.5% in BTC comparative over the past 24 hours. Now, for focusing on its market cap, on the other hand, about $2.2 billion and the 24 hour trading volume is currently sitting at $826.2 million. So, in a grand scheme of things, guys, things are looking absolutely amazing for Bonk. Uh, but, you know, when I pull out the charts, things will make more sense. But before I do that, as always, just a quick disclaimer for everyone. Anything on this channel is not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto. So looking at the broader meme coin market right now, everything is, seems to be up right now, especially if you're looking at the last seven days, whether you're looking at the last 24 hours even, you are seeing altcoins uh, going absolutely insane, especially these meme coins. Remember, meme coins are considered the riskier coins when it comes to the crypto space. Let's face it, they don't bring any sort of, uh, you know, utility uh, into the you know space maybe some of the meme coins do and actually bonk is one of the one that actually has a little bit of utility that it has um you know something similar to what shiba inu does but in the grand scheme of things it's nothing too crazy but we'll definitely take that um you know obviously a lot of excitement and it's really here to battle it out i've had this conversation with you guys before about bonk and dog with hat this battle still is going on you can see this for yourself very very close to one another in terms of market caps um, potentially could see Bonk actually taking over a dog with hat spot. Obviously, there's uh, two sides of uh, you know things. There's dog with hats army and there's Bonk's army. And you know, obviously, people that hold with uh, are the ones that actually support with more. They think Whiff is going to be, uh, you know, the leader, and there's some that think Bonk is going to be. But why can't you have both, right? I'm just joking. Again, they're meme coins. Remember, treat them as meme coins. But let's continue to take a look at what's happening with Bonk right now and what we could be expecting. But on that note, do let me know in the comments down below which coin do you think for the Solana blockchain really takes over, um, you know, in terms of market valuation um, at the end of the cycle. But anyhow, if you're looking at the dominance, it actually did go up as I've said earlier. 55.36%. But, you know, due to this Bitcoin beautiful, beautiful bounce, this has literally changed the entire, um, you know, outlook on the market. You can see this for yourself. Bitcoin retest is $67,413. If you did watch my other updates, which is just the day before yesterday, I did say that, you know, if we're able to break out of that, um, you know, 64 to 65K range, we can see these prices come to life. And that's exactly what you're noticing right now. But uh, great stuff. We're going into the weekend. As you guys know, more manipulation than usual on the weekend. So, be very cautious if you're locking those gains in right now uh, because you know that money that you're making over the past you know one and a half week to two weeks yes in that short time there's people that are making insane amount of gains across the board um, and if you're locking in profits and you're thinking about it don't think about it you're doing the right thing at the end of the day because if you get greedy you will um, you know get left behind so do not give yourself a hard time because I did read some of the comments some people are saying ah oh, you know I wish I didn't lock in profits this and that no if you're locking in profits after a double your money, it's always 
not a bad idea. Do not listen to anyone else tell you otherwise because if you're just going to go into this market with the mentality thinking, you know, certain market valuations is where you're going to be pulling out, uh, you know, that the chances of you actually getting to that is slim to none, especially if you are locking in your complete profit at that price point. Because imagine you taking advantage of these massive moves and then, you know, these massive swings uh, towards the downside and you, know, you could kind of reaccumulate your position and at the same time have some profit. So this is why I will say this till the absolute end to lock those profits in. But now if we're looking at the price right now, you can see this for yourself. Bonk has done something very, very interesting. And what I mean by that is the price of Bonk has gone back above the 2939 resistance finally for the first time since June 11th. And June 11th, we saw this wick, but again, um, you know, we didn't really see the price stay above there. We were ranging, um, you know, back in June as well, early June around these uh, prices. Uh, but of course, we know what happened with the overall market, and we did see. Uh, you know, bonk retest the 1845 zone, but never managed to go back down to the April 16 lows. What is this telling you? What is this telling you? Because a lot of other meme coins, and again, I like looking at it from every point of view. A lot of coins, a lot of meme coins actually went down to, uh, you know, lows even lower than the April um, and, you know, May pullbacks. Um, no, sorry, April pullbacks. And then you're seeing bonk actually not reacting to that. So from that point of view, this tells you that, you know, there's not much more selling pressure around this range, even though we saw Bitcoin, uh, you know, have more of a sharper drop this time around. So if you want to put this into perspective right now, uh, you know, from our May high, you did see a bonk drop about 59%. And if you picked it up around this range, you might have gotten a double entry, like double chance to enter around the 1829 zone. And do let me know in the comments down below if you did actually get around that. If you did, guess what? Look at it for yourself. You're up 80% in a week and a half. You've heard that correct. And now um, what you're noticing is a significant amount of resistance. We don't even need to switch into the hourly time frame to kind of see this. You could see literally right around this level, we do have quite a bit of resistance coming in its way. But if this resistance is able to clear out, you could see Bonk reclaiming back up uh, to the 3488 zone quite fast. And again, that is a significant amount of resistance, uh, obviously due to it being an all time high back in December. So that's how I'm analyzing the price of bonk loving what i'm seeing right now do let me know in the comments below what you guys personally think and um you know on that note like i said earlier i do want to know from you guys what do you think uh bonk uh, in terms of market valuation will be at at the end of this cycle um i would love to know that uh, but i'm liking what i'm seeing you know that correlation that i really spoke to you guys about before as well you know when solana pumps up you do tend to see bonk react to it in a very positive way and that's what you're seeing but let's take it one step at a time uh let me know down below if you want to see more of these updates and yeah with that being said i will see you tomorrow it's been crypto zx and peace out